WTF, they are not a couple, discovered the fake script for the love story of Harry and Meghan. Hello friends, welcome to breaking royal news about the notorious hypocritical couple, Harry and Meghan Markle, on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. Every time we see these staged photos, especially with Meghan's I'm just so stupidly happy grin, we know it's all a ruse. They keep trying to sell this against all odds love story and just can't see why no one's buying it. And we don't buy it because Meghan hasn't given anyone a reason to. I've only ever heard Meghan give one explanation for why she fell in love with Harry, because they laughed a lot on their first date. Correct me if anyone's heard or read differently, but that is the only thing I've ever heard Meghan mention about what made her fall for Harry, and she doesn't even explain what kind of humor they had in common. All I imagine is Harry telling dumb jokes and Meghan pretending to find them funny. At least Harry gave a few more explanations for his feelings. She was beautiful, she reminded him of his mom, and they cared about the same causes. Megan's a pathological liar, and yet she hasn't been able to drum up a few more lies to at least make their matchup seem plausible. He remembered little things I told him about myself. He was caring towards my mom dog friends. He was consistent and reliable. He made me feel heard and validated. I felt like I could be myself around him. He taught me how to trust again after my first marriage failed. Her version goes, we laughed a lot on our first date, quickly arranged date two, then we were immediately in a committed relationship and focused all our energies on making it work. The reason why they flopped, even with a whole docu-series dedicated to their true love story under their belts, is because we don't believe in their true love story. And the reason we don't believe it is because it's not true. Megan doesn't seem to understand that being an interracial couple is not enough to convince us in the 21st century. It's because the pap shoots are literally all she knows how to do. Megan has learned at some point that, indeed, PR companies do schedule paparazzi photographs for promotion or setting narratives. This is, however, all she knows about PR, and she uses this tactic constantly because it's so easy to just call up Backgrid. The attempted narrative this time was something like, Megan and Harry on the cute date on the day after Diana's birthday, hence why she's also LARPing on her Diana outfit. It also works because most people don't know that pap shoots are organized. It fools many. And she always overdoes them. If she's in London, she dresses like an English country girl, what she imagines her to dress like, and gets a bag with a slogan to show off her activism. When she goes on a hike in LA, she looks like an archaeologist. In New York, she's in the two-hour car chase. She can just be seen with Harry. She gets Cameron Diaz in the background or Diana cosplay or overdresses in a pink pantsuit, etc., grinning and looking at the camera. One psychologist said, Arguing with your partner is a good sign of a strong marriage. If couples say they don't argue, that means they're lying, or they don't care enough about issues and can't be bothered to argue, or one of them is oppressing, bullying, emotionally abusing the other, and that person is too scared to argue and does anything they can for a quiet life. Being able to argue and discuss issues, reach an agreement, and then move on, not holding grudges or trying to get retribution, is a sign of a healthy relationship. So for Harry and Meghan, it's always been a fake relationship. Harry is so fixated on her being the reincarnation of Diana, he is blinded or maybe subconsciously knows she is just playing a role and he is happy to go along with it. She is just in it for Meghan. To be blunt, he was pussy whipped and now he's stuck and miserable with a horrible wife, two kids, and no way to actually provide for his family because he has no skills. Hence the permanent miserable look on his face. His only career was in the military. Now, I'm not saying that those in the military do not learn any transferable skills because they do. However, in the military, the day is always planned with direction and orders from their respective commander on what to do at each moment of the day. And in Harry's life experience, this appears to be what has been the case since birth, as he's not always had a each day planned by aides or whatnot, military or home life. 
He is completely lost. He has no idea what he's supposed to do. He has no real life transferable skills and zero clue about how to handle intrapersonal relationships. That's his fault, nobody else's, as he has had ample time as an adult to learn these skills through therapy, of which he's had plenty. His best bet would be call a company that specializes in assimilating veterans, as he is very similar to that scenario. He may also benefit from inpatient drug and alcohol abuse therapy, as they do in Hollywood, a sobriety retreat, if you will. His father is not his bank, just as your father is not yours. An old saying that still reigns true, you've made your bed, now lie in it. I am sure each person here has heard some version of this in their lifetime, and now it's Harry's turn to hear the same sentiment from his own father. Unfortunately for him, he cannot claw his way out of the pit he's dug for himself, and he must lie in it. Only Harry can help Harry. I read a while back about Megan being a valley girl in the most purposeful sense of the word. I do not believe that. From what I've seen, she is an awful, manipulative, narcissistic succubus that will drain any male of societal stature of his spirit and bank account. In conclusion, it is possible to be rich, old money or nouveau riche, doesn't matter, and also be trash and not know how to manage any type of wealth or be decent people. Harry and Meghan are trash people with no desire to help themselves or others and could not possibly be bothered with trying to be better, try harder, honor contracts, help others, learn and or do the right thing, nor do they have any skills or societal value worth peddling. Meghan Markle is the new Hyacinth Bucket. Hyacinth was a character from a 1990s BBC show, Keeping Up Appearances. Hyacinth is a grasping schemer, obsessed with attaining upper-class elite status despite her lower-class roots. She's a poser extraordinaire. She was desperate for attention and went to ridiculous lengths to put on fancy airs and impress people. It still runs on many PBS stations in the States, and YouTube may have an episode. Megan is Hyacinth. The way she seeks to guide Harry from room to room, saying, shall we, as she gestures with an exaggerated sweeping hand motion. It looks like she saw that in the Princess Diaries, or one of those stupid Hallmark Yank marries a prince of a vague country at Christmas time movies. No Americans say that unless they're imitating Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. And Wonder Woman doesn't make sweeping fake gestures. What do you think about Harry and Meghan's fake love story? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.